Our society faces nowadays many important challenges in the energy use, information handling and health preservation which depends on the progress of material science. The Institut de Ciència de Materials de Barcelona faces these challenges by generating cutting-edge knowledge in materials and nanoscience and transferring it to the society. Scientists from all around the world come here to join our team attracted by your search for excellence. So, welcome to MAP! The ICMAB is formed by about 220 people, 180 of them being researchers, and our research programs have an interdisciplinary character, combining material science, nanoscience, physics, and chemistry. We succeed in achieving a high scientific impact together with and efficient generation of know-how with real impact on the challenges of our society and so of industrial interest. We cover transverse areas from material science and nanoscience to more specific disciplines from the fields of physics and chemistry. Our international flavor and the dynamism of our researchers has made possible that, after 25 years of life, ICMAB has reached a worldwide leadership position in materials research. At ICMAB, we use the most advanced tools and methodologies in order to promote knowledge concerning science materials and nanotechnology. We simulate and model materials. We manufacture them on different scales from nanoscopic to macroscopic, and we investigate their structure and their properties with unique methodology, such as sync crotons or electronic nanoscopes, so that they may form part of our present and our future. We reach into new materials for biomedicine and pharmacies for electronics and information technology and in order to generate, transport, save and store energy. Molecular and magnetic nanostructures, semiconductor and superconductor, new functional oxides. With these we can create to measure new electric, electronic, magnetic and optic devices which will give way to the innovation in communications, energy and biomedicine of the 21st century. The training of future generation of researchers is one of our more rewarding activities. ICMAP PhD and MSc candidates can profit from an interdisciplinary training program as well as from international experiences. This is valued by future employers. Private enterprises employ 30% of our former PhD students. We also have other ongoing initiatives to reach out for primary, secondary and university students. All that back up our center as an attractive, creative and dynamic research environment. I decided to come to the IGMA because it's very recognized around the world. It's a world class institute to work here. They have very good facilities for doing science better. And my main motivation is learning new things every day. It's the feeling when I got there that I know exactly what's happening during the experiment that I know what's going there. The sciences for me it's some type of freedom. You create something new. IGMA. Wow, wow. Everything is new here, and the people here, wow. Well. IGMAP closely collaborates with major local and European industrial companies, technology centers, hospitals, and foundations. 
a synergetic collaboration within public and private institutions through open innovation is the core of the strategic vision of IMAP. One consequence of the process is the recent creation of two spin-off companies, Oxolutia and Nanomol Technologies. Nanomol synthesizes molecular materials and applies molecular nanotechnology in industrial productive processes for chemical and pharmaceutical industrial sectors. Oxolutia develops cost-effective and scalable processes for novel and efficient devices based on nanostructured second-generation superconductor tapes for the generation, distribution, and use of energy. Molecular materials are very attractive for a wide range of applications and to make useful systems, we make special use of supramolecular chemistry, that is, the chemistry of organising molecules in space using weak interactions. Controlling the supramolecular chemistry of molecular materials means influencing and tuning their properties. At present, all electronic devices we use are based on silicon. However, these technologies are arriving to their limits and new materials are needed. We are using most advanced techniques to fabricate ultra-thin films of only few nanometers thick of novel magnetic materials and ferroletic oxides in order to explore new ways for sensing, data storage and communication, more energy efficient and of enhanced functionalities. We investigate the chemistry of boron hydrates for energy applications, ionic liquids, among others. Boranes contain the highest possible load of hydrogen besides hydrogen itself. We have demonstrated for the first time that the stepwise sequential redox potential modulation has been made possible by using a metallocarburane. ALBA is a modern synchrotron light source equipped with several, several beam lines for material science research. Electronic properties, structural properties of different materials, uh, solid materials, polymers, etc. The possibility of collaborating with IMAP scientists offers the opportunity to those scientists of achieving deeper insight and more breadth on the research that they are doing. So the future is very fruitful uh, on this respect. We investigate on improving current electron materials for rechargeable batteries and also designing new ones with enhanced performance. I work mainly in the lab performing experiments using light to probe the physical properties of nanomaterials. We search for new phenomena that emerge as a direct consequence of the reduced dimensionality or size of the material system under study. All my lines of investigation have a clear application in mind such as to improve the performance of nano devices, enhance specific properties, develop ultra-sensitive uh, spectroscopy techniques, just as examples. We are using chemical solution depositions to grow uh, epitaxial layers and nanostructures of functional oxides. In particular, this chemical method has allowed us to obtain high-performance, scalable and low-cost superconducting tapes. The theory and simulation group works along two strongly rel related directions. The first is the creation of new computational and analytical tools to understand materials. The second is the application of these tools to real materials, and this we try to do as much as possible in collaboration with experimental groups. I could mention as uh, systems which are of our interest, uh, uh, multiferroxist materials, uh, nanotubes, uh, processes occurring at uh, membranes or channels, uh, low dimensional conductors, etc. We are working on the chemistry of carbon nanotubes and graphene and explore their application in different fields. For instance, one of our research lines focuses on the development of nanocapsules to allow a more efficient diagnosis and treatment of cancer. Crystallography deals on determining how atoms and molecules are arranged in a material and how they interact among them. This is the final reason why a material presents a concrete property, either color, hardness, conductivity or whatever. On the other hand, we also work on nanoporous materials for different applications such as catalysis for energy. We are working in molecular nanoscience using techniques of supramolecular chemistry in order to develop nanocarriers for drug delivery, making controlled and targeted drug delivery for therapy and diagnosis. We develop novel nanoparticles and nanocomposites using several chemical synthetic approaches. In particular, we investigate iron oxide magnetic colloids for, as contrast agents for magnetic resonance imaging to enhance the sensitivity of the technique and to track cells in cell therapies. 